So I'm taking myself out of my comfort zone to do this video today, and I hope you guys will join me in it. I'm tagging anybody who's watching it. You can see down below uh, who tagged me. And all right, let's get started. The first question is Scouts Honor, are you wearing any makeup? No, I'm not wearing any makeup. <laughs> I just got out of the shower and I'm wearing my Kirby thingy. And two, what is one makeup product you cannot live without? Probably eyeliner, because without it, my eyes have a totally different shape. And I like the way my eyes look with eyeliner. And it's just the best. <laughs> okay, number three, what is one makeup product you can live without? Probably bronzer, because I hardly ever use it, especially when I have not been out in the sun a lot. I'll just use blush. And it's really hard for me to find a bronzer that fits with my skin tone without it looking orange. Number four. Do I feel confident without makeup on? Well, not really. And... Honestly, I have a feeling this is mostly because of my experiences with other people, unfortunately. Um, whenever I have gone without makeup to places like school um, or other places like the grocery store, not only people that know me, but people that don't know me will say, Having a bad day, huh? Or, are you okay? You seem like you're having a rough day. Or ask me if I'm tired or sad or upset. It's like, I'm fine. <laughs> um, and it really gets to you when people say that to you when you're not wearing any makeup. And this happened, like this happened to me even before I started wearing makeup. And, I mean, there's many different problems going on with that, but I would just like to say that if you don't know someone, don't say anything like that to somebody. It's just rude, and it makes them feel horrible. It's, it's like, were those people not even thinking how I would feel? So, um, but yeah, even people that know me will say, you look tired today, and Sorry, but to me, it's obvious, oh, she's not wearing makeup. It's not that she looks tired. She's not wearing makeup. Especially since when I wear makeup, I usually wear the winged eyeliner and sometimes red lipstick. And it's usually pretty obvious that I have makeup on. So when I don't wear it, it's not that I'm tired or sad. I'm not wearing makeup. Um, but that definitely messes with your self-esteem when other people see you that way and tell you about it to your face. Um, but other than that, I still don't feel comfortable without my makeup on, but on a lazy day, I will go somewhere without makeup. But let's move on to the next question. And rant. <laughs> Okay, number five, what part of your face do you like the most? Uh, my eyes. And number six, where is one place you will never go without makeup on? Well, probably to school slash work because... That's where I wear my makeup the most, and so people see me every single day with makeup on, and going back to the previous topic, I wouldn't want them to see me without my makeup. Plus, it makes me feel better, so I'm going to be more confident in the workplace or at school. Number seven, where is one place you can go without makeup on? Uh, well, there's... Plenty of places that I can go without putting makeup on, 
but probably most often, unfortunately, is the grocery store, because oftentimes my grandma or my mom will want to go shopping on a day that I don't have school or work, and so that will have been a lazy day where all I did was be at home and I didn't put on any makeup, and I won't feel like putting it on, so I'll go to the grocery store. And of course, that's the other topic. That will be the one day that a stranger will say something to me about, like, having a bad day. Like, uh, terrible. Okay, and <laughs> the last question is really funny. Number eight. Would you rather go a week without makeup or go a week with your boyfriend doing your makeup? Well... I would have to say that my gut reaction is I'd rather go without makeup. But as long as he didn't do anything crazy, I actually trust my fiancé to at least put the bare essentials on my face without making me look stupid. Because I have asked him after I'm done, is there anything I need to fix? And sometimes he'll say yes. So I would say he has a basic knowledge of what should or should not be there on my face. So I that would actually be a fun like challenge for us. I'm not going to do it, and I'm not going to make him do it. But that would be really funny. And, yeah, I, I would like to see him do my makeup for a week. <laughs> so... This has been the No Makeup Tag, and I would love to see your videos, and I think this has been good for me. And one last thing I would like to say is that I wish I did feel beautiful enough without makeup, but that's just not the case right now. And I think it's important that if you don't feel that way, that you work on how you feel about it. Because everybody really is beautiful without makeup. We really don't need it. It's just something to enhance our beauty. And it's something that some people choose to wear. So let me know how you feel about that as well if you decide to do one of these videos. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.